my god. Every single time I've tried to film one of these videos, like, it's just always a pain in the ass because I can never set up my, like, phone. But now that I have, like, a tripod, this shit is so easy. Like, look at you guys. You guys are just sitting perfectly. I'm just going to, like, show you guys the view from this way because then I'm not going to be able to put it back. This is on our driveway. Can I, like, focus better? out the cute little window like it looks so it looks so pretty um but today i'm gonna film a q a so like question and answer so you guys have asked me some questions um and i'm really excited because i feel like i feel like you guys don't really know me i feel like you know you watch my videos you watch me do some fun stuff you like my house that's like the main the main thing so you guys like that but you don't really know the true me. So I'm filming this Q&A and I'm thinking we get into the deep stuff. Like we're going to get personal. We're going to talk about my darkest secrets, my... Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking that we just dive into it and get into like the real deep stuff. So first question, favorite TV show? There's no way you guys actually really want to know that. Like, there's no way you guys care about that. But, okay, favourite movie, hands down, Mamma Mia. If you haven't seen Mamma Mia, go watch it. It's, like, if you don't know what it is, it's basically a movie that's just, like, set in Greece and it's just, like, a musical. But it's like, favourite TV show, I'm going to say Vampire Diaries. I know. <sighs> I know. So, basically, my cousin, like, practically forced me upon my will to watch Vampire Diaries. Like... She was like, I mean, I have to watch this. And she was telling me I needed to watch it for ages. And I wasn't listening to her because I was like, Vampire Diaries? Like, what kind of a name is that? Like, I don't like vampire shows. Like, I'm not, like, I don't want to be watching fucking werewolves and weird. Like, that's not the type of stuff that I'm into. But anyway, she forced me to watch it. I reckon I've watched it about 18 times. Like, I wish I was joking. Like, I've watched it so many times to the point where it's, like, actually probably a mental illness. Um, okay, next question. Oh, my God. Sorry. Sorry, I'm literally already getting sidetracked. If I answered, like, one question, I'm already going off the thing into a story. My friend and I were eating fortune cookies, okay? I've never had a fortune cookie before, so I was, like, kind of excited. I was like, okay, like, wonder what my fortune's going to be, you know? And then, so my friend opens her cookie, cracks it open, pulls out her little, like, future quote or, like, fortune predictor. I don't know. She pulls out hers. It's something along the lines of, like, you're going to live a fulfilling life. Like, it was literally, I don't remember it word by word, but it was, like, something like you're going to live a prosperous, fulfilling happy life wow like that sounds great like i like i'm so excited to hear what mine is you know because you know i'm hoping i'm thinking that this cookie is going to be hyping me up you know not tearing me down like it's a fortune cookie like i kind of was expecting something like that like something like my friend got you know something saying that you know i'm gonna be happy or something <sighs> do you want to know what mine was ignore my shattered phone mine literally says and i quote can it focus? Don't play the love game. What the fuck does that even mean? Don't play the love game. I was like, excuse me? Excuse me? I was absolutely taken back. I was baffled. I was like, wow, this cookie, this cookie fully just went for the jugular. Like this cookie fully just fucking attacked my love life. Like, don't play the love game. Like, what does that mean? I, was, I think it can be perceived in multiple different ways. I don't know. But the way that I took it was, don't play the love game. Don't play love. Don't fall in love. So basically, the cookie just told me that I'm never finding love. The cookie quite literally said, don't even fucking bother. Don't even bother. Love isn't for you. So then I searched it up, right? I was like, maybe it means, like, I don't know, something else. Like, I was sort of hoping that maybe it says, and I quote, loving one person is hard. Loving two people is fun. What? I was like, I was like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, is it saying that I can't ever love one person? because I'm a little homie hopper or what's it implying anyway so I just keep this as a reminder to you know <laughs> avoid love so I just keep it at the back of my phone you know my shattered phone 
you know, symbolizing my broken, shattered, fragmented heart or something. Like, oh, don't play the love game. Like, so my love life is doomed. Okay, we're moving on now because that just got a little bit depressing, you know, and I think we need to lighten up the mood a little bit, all right? So, next question. What do you do when you're sad? Usually, I just wallow in self-pity and then eventually I snap out of it. You guys asked for my plans after my gap year because I'm on a gap year right now. I'm doing a bit of traveling later on in the year, but... I just thought I'd work on YouTube for a bit and I'm, my friend's working and stuff and we're going a bit later on. Um, so, as you guys know, I'm having a gap year. It's still, like, all in the planning stage. Like, it's literally up in the air. Like, I don't even know where we're going. But trust me, it's happening. After I did get into uni, I thinking about either doing uni or college, whatever you, you call it, um, for a Bachelor of Business. I'm interested in business and stuff. But, again, like, I just don't know if uni is for me. Like, it's, like, I feel like I'm a more, I don't know. So, but I did get into it that, and I applied for it and deferred for a year. So, as of now, I'm going to uni next year. But I, what country do you live in the most? So, I live in Australia, right? I live in Australia. Um, that's where I was born. That's where I live. That's where, like, this house is. Um, but my family bought a holiday house in New Zealand. So, that's the other house that you guys see. But I don't live there. We just, like, go there quite a bit because... Yeah, we have a holiday house there. So that answers that question. How do you deal with hate comments? Considering how annoying I am, I really don't get that much hate. I, I don't really get it, but I think it's because I already hate on myself. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like I already say all the stuff about myself already, so it kind of leaves nothing else for other people to say. And, like, when someone leaves a hate comment, it's like, okay, yeah, I know, you're just stating the bloody obvious. Like, it's like, yeah, I've already said that about myself, so it's kind of just like, don't waste your time. You know, some hate I receive is just like, you're so perfect, you know, you're just so perfect, it's annoying. And you see, that really offends me because, like, I didn't ask to be this perfect. You know, I can't help the fact that I'm a godforsaken angel, all right? Like, it's not my... Like, I didn't ask for this, okay? I didn't ask for this. So it's really hard, you know, having to deal with that all the time. I think it's just like, okay, I know. Like, okay. Okay, like, yeah, okay, I'm annoying. If you find me annoying, okay, yeah, okay, get in line. If you find me, um... I don't know, it's just sort of like... Yeah, we get it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, I know, like, fucking, okay, like, what do you want me to do about that is the thing. It's like, the only way I can help the people that don't like me is, like, for them to just go away. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you don't like me, go away. I don't know, and I also just think that, like, people love to hate people. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's easier to hate someone. It's so easy to hate someone. Like, I could hate... Like, I literally got into a verbal fight with an inanimate object the other day. I was just so angry because I couldn't connect to my music. So I literally got into a physical fight with my charger. Like, I was so mad. I was like, you worthless piece of shit. I hope your whole family dies a most, the most painful death. You're not doing your job. Like, all your, your only job is to connect to the music, and you can't even do that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it was so easy for me to just hate the charger. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, like, I just think that, like, if someone wants to hate me, like, okay, fucking, if that's what makes you feel good, then, like, go, go ahead. What were you like as a kid? Funny you ask. Someone asked what I was like as a kid. Um, like what my childhood was like. My childhood was amazing. Best years of my life. I was just a ratty little kid. Like I was the type of, I literally played with worms. I had pet worms. I look at cute baby photos of my brother, like when he was a toddler and he looks like a little angel. Like he looks like a, like the cutest little thing you've ever seen. And then there was me, this disheveled little ratty mess that like would just play outside and just, my parents just let me literally run like a little feral child. So yeah, like I was like, here, I'll show you a picture. This is my brother when he was little. And this is me. I was literally wild. Like I was not tame. I was a little demon. Um, and honestly, I was having the time of my life. And to be, to be quite honest, 
I'm still, I still look like that 90% of the time. Like, majority of the time, I look like a disheveled little mess, okay? Until, like, I have to, like, pretend to, like, look, like, remotely put together. Um, yeah, so that's that. But I had a really fun childhood. I was outside a lot, played in the tree houses. I mean, I still, st I still am a kid. Like, when someone asked me what I was like as a kid, I was like, I'm still a kid. Like, there's no way I'm an adult. So, well, I'm 18, so, yeah. Well, I'm going to go, but thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm glad we had our cute little chats. Um, let me know if you have any other, like, questions and stuff for future videos where I do this kind of stuff. Um, but I had lots of fun hanging out with you guys and talking with you guys. So, I guess I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you soon. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. I just hit 1.1 mil on TikTok. And, um, that's really exciting. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. I don't know what I do without you. But yeah, okay, I'll see ya.